Good morning, New York traders, Privateer FX coming at you after a very, very, very boring European session. Let's, let's talk about dollar yen because we're looking at this 20 level, 106.20. We're at the highs right now of uh, the session, 106.13. Equities have done nothing but remain towards the highs. We have a little bit of a risk on feel to all of this uh, today. Uh, and besides what Draghi does, we think dollar yen might pop higher here with this risk on sentiment and also with the BOJ uh, meeting tomorrow. So if you think the short term money is short dollar yen, uh, they're going to have to cut. So this could mean dollar yen higher. Above 106.50 obviously is way more important, but we're going to get started at 106.20. See how we do. As far as Euro and Draghi goes, honestly, I have no idea. I mean, there's support here at 123.62. We know that from from uh, Monday. Um, just got to listen and react. I don't think he's going to. Well, the consensus is he's not going to change anything until April consensus is he might be slightly more dovish because of potential trade wars, the value of the euro, the low inflation. Um, consensus is often wrong on days like today, so just be open-minded. Uh, look at both sides. Obviously now on the top side, prices above 16 on the day should create renewed buying. On the downside, I don't know, it gets, it's a bit of a clusterfuck down here between 60 and 20. Um, the real problems are going to come in below 123.29. Uh, we're just going to be open-minded and nimble today. Don't have, a, don't have a side that we like better than the other. We'll just have to roll with it. If you like the euro, the dollar yen higher, then you might want to look at euro yen. If euro goes higher and dollar yen goes higher, euro yen might pop. Uh, this is these are kind of interesting levels here above 132. So really, if, you know, as we get towards 85.90, this could be interesting. Other than that, I'm just going to leave you to study. Uh, the transcripts, look for word changes, and be ready. And then I guess after after Draghi is going to be maybe some news from Trump about tariffs. Uh, again, trying to predict what Trump does sounds it's pretty much impossible. Um, so just keep your eyes on the news feeds and look both ways. All right, guys. Good luck to you. See you.